Brian Stiller is a state-of-the-art uh, ICT enterprise solution which provides uh, predominantly a data center services to enterprises, be it large corporates, SMEs or startups. The whole purpose behind this is to take away the pain and complexity of investing in infrastructure where these two, this, this world-class operation locally takes that pain away from you and provides that and continuously updates it on a subscription basis. And also it is a B2B business, it's not B2C. And it has been formed by two partners, one being a regional multinational the Asiata Group, which is probably the largest single FDI investor in this country. And the other one is the St. Anthony's property developer, part of the St. Anthony's Group, which has been here for more than, what, 50, 60 years, and also has a tremendous track record of investing in infrastructure provision. So that combination, that fusion, I think is excellent in providing world-class standards at locally affordable prices. Our clients are any enterprise, uh, starting from banking, finance, and telcos and media companies. So every enterprise needs IT infrastructure. And if you look at a Gartner or any magazine, every year, uh, CIOs and CTOs having challenges to meet their IT infrastructure with the demand. So that is why Orion Silla is setting up uh, IT infrastructure as a service for customers to simplify their challenges. If you, I tell you now we talk about power, so the power is a significant factor now because IT infrastructure draws a lot of power. So we at Orion Stella have built a most efficient um, service provider data center in the country. So that will uh, enable enterprises to uh, host their IT in our data center and also get savings in the power that will actually help even the national grid. So we would say they would save about 30 to 40 percent of power when they are uh, hosting their IT infrastructure in our data center. And also the power density. Uh, now uh, with the explosion of new applications like uh, data analytics, blockchain, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So they draw a large number of power and they demand. And also IT infrastructure is get consolidated into a, what we call uh, hyper converge infrastructure. So that means in a particular one rack, you need to uh, uh, have a lot of um, power uh, to host this high, most modern uh, IT infrastructure. So that is why we have built our data center not only power efficient, but also with the ability to give um, high power uh, capabilities to per rack. So we can go 15 kilowatt per rack if uh, needed. Generally, uh, average in the market is 3 kilowatt per rack, but we can even go up to 15 kilowatt per rack, enabled by our highly efficient cooling system we are running in our data center. Yes, in Sri Lanka, uh, Oranjala is the only carrier neutral data center. So when uh, I mean by carrier neutral, uh, other two data centers are owned by telcos, where this is a data center where all the carriers are having their connectivity in our data center, namely uh, Sri Lanka Telecom, Dialog, Tata, Lankacom, and Lanka Bell. That is a kind of an international uh, standard and a practice where a client can select any service provider and also they can get uh, multiple options also have cost efficiency. It is a much more liberalized connectivity environment for any client coming into our data center. So uh, we currently have around 200 racks of which I believe today we have operationalized around 95 and also 100. So it's about 50% of the capacity. There will be some minor investments to scale up the, or operationalize the balance 50%. And I think we want to uh, balance the customer profile. The moment we start to fill the first 95, then we will start to really look at the overseas and the regional uh, things. So it will be a fairly balanced uh, combination cocktail of local, international, MNC, as well as very clearly not forgetting the local SMEs. But those guys don't have the bandwidth and the wherewithal to invest in this sort of world-class facilities, infusing capital. But 
benefiting from this sort of a service on a subscription basis will make it more affordable from their cash flow point of view.